analyzing categorical data in dot plot. So um, let's check out this word problem, really the situation that leads to a word problem. The students in a class were surveyed to find out how many people live in their households. Household members might include parents, step-parents, guardians, and siblings, as well as extended families such as grandparents. The results of the survey are shown in the dot plot. And it says number of people in households. Um, and then they want to know what percent of the class has a household of three or fewer people. So it, remembering how to read a dot plot, the dots um, represent how many students, in this case, um, answered for each number. So if we just look like it at two, for instance, um, the three dots mean um, three students who were um, surveyed answered that they had two um, family members living in their house. So the dot plots show how many of that number showed up in the survey. So if we want to know what percent of the class has a household of three um, or fewer, we need to get a total and then we're going to solve for percent. So first our setup, we're trying to be consistent with this, but we always know we're doing our percent over 100, our part to our whole, and then next to that um, just keeping it fresh in our minds, this triangle here, making sure that we have our part at the top, our percent here, and then finish that out a little nicer, and then whole right here, and then um, our signs. You know, we do division coming down this way, and then multiplication in between. So um, let's figure out what the total number, we need a whole, so let's figure out what the total number of students surveyed were. So basically, we count up the dots. We should have it. And this is a little bigger here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I am counting 25 total um, students as the whole who were surveyed in that class. The percent's always 100, or out of 100, I should say. The part. All right, how many had three or less? What percent in class, three or fewer people? Okay, well, that would be this section in here. Three or fewer, which looks like four and then three, which would give me seven people out of 25, seven students out of 25 had a household of three or fewer. So we can then solve for the percent. And how do we do that? If we're solving for the percent, we divide the part, the part divided by the whole will get us that answer. So the part is 7, and then 25 is the whole. So I think i got enough space here to do this. We'll put 7 here. We're going to divide by 25. And I always make this point 0 because when you divide a part by a whole, you're going to get a decimal answer. So 25 does not go into 7, of course, um, but it does go into 7D twice. Put a 2 there. 25 times 2 is 50. When you subtract, you're going to get 20, and you can bring down that 0 that's not there but really is. And then 25 goes into 200, I'm sorry, 8 times evenly. 25 times 8 is 200. That cancels out. And you get point 0.28, which is not really the final answer because we want to do that number right there, move it over two places, equals 28% of the students surveyed in this class had uh, three or fewer parents, uh, sorry, family members living with them. Um, so 28% would be our answer. Again, finding the whole of what we needed and then the part and dividing the part by the whole, making sure you read the dot plot correctly in addition. So give this one a shot. Uh, you can try it on your own. You can pause the video, see how you do, unpause it um, when you're done and check to see. But what percent of all computers sold during the entire week were sold on Friday? So we're looking at computers sold during a week. It's got a number of, of computers sold in our dot plot here. Um, and so which what was the percent that were sold on Friday. So go ahead and pause this, give it a shot, total up the total computers sold, how many were sold on Friday, and then see if you get the percent right. Go ahead. All right, so I'm, I'm going to be consistent, percent over 100, part whole, 
I won't draw the triangle, but we know we've got it right there. We can come back and look at it in a second here. Um, so what do we have? We need the total number of computers that were sold. We need to count these things up. So let's do that real quick. I'm getting one, two, three, four, five, six there. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 26, 27, I'm at 28, we got 29, 30, 31, 32, 3, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, all the way at 40 on my biggest day, which is Friday. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and I think an even 50 as our whole value here. So 50 can be our whole. The part we don't know just yet, but it's always out of 100. And we know we're going to have to solve for the percent because they want percent of all computers sold. So how many were sold on Friday? I almost had it counted up, but it was 1, 2, 3. Actually... It's a little small for me, so I'm going to do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Looks like 12 of them. So 12 out of 50 were sold on Friday. Friday was the best day for computer sales, it looks like. So how do we solve this? Just like we did last time. We're trying to find the percent. We want the part divided by the whole. So let's do that real quick. The part would be 12. Put it right in there. Try to write it as neatly as I can and line things up. Going to divide by 50. So I'm going to go ahead and make this 12.0. I know I'm going to get a decimal. And then let's do some division here. 50 does not go into 1 or 12. But it goes into 120 twice. 50 times 2 is 100. I'm going to subtract and get 20. And just like we did in the first example, bring down the 0 and get 200. And then 50 goes into 200 evenly four times, which cancels out. So I get 0 0.24, 24 hundredths, which moving the decimal two places gets me a total answer of 24%, which means 24% of the computers were sold on Friday.